Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So in this video we are going to be getting into long division with whole numbers and double digit divisors. Now double digit divisors is very similar to single digit divisors. It's the same exact process. It's just some of these problems take a little more work and you'll see what I mean once we get in get into these four problems on your screen. If you need a little more help with the division process or single digit divisors, I would go back to my instructional videos with those which I dropped in the description. So look for the single digit divisor videos and then come back to the double digits. If you've already checked those out or you're confident, confident with single digit divisors and you're ready for double digit divisors, I highly suggest writing these problems out with me. I think that will be more beneficial to you than just sitting there listening to me and staring at the screen. But it's up to you. So we're going to hop into number one here. And it's the same thing as before. We need to set up our problem so we can solve it with our division strategy here. And like I said, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat, except we have a double digit divisor. That outside number is our divisor. The inside is called the dividend. So we are taking 970 and splitting it into 10 groups. Okay, that's essentially what this problem means. So we start with 9 divided by 10. How many whole groups of 10 can I pull out of 9? Well, I can't do it. So I need to look at the 97. How many tens, how many groups of 10 are in 97? Well, 9, right? How many whole groups? 9 is the closest, 90. 9 times 10 is 90. Subtract, I get 7. Bring down a 0. 70 divided by 10, or think of it as how many whole groups of 10 can I make out of 70 or get out of 70? And it is 7. 7 times 10 is 70. Subtract. I get a nice clean cut, no, rem no remainder quotient of 97. And remember, quotient means answer to a division problem. So let's go to number two here. We have 25 as our divisor and 5,775 as our dividend. So we start with how many groups of 25 can we pull out of five? Well, we can't, so we need to look at the 57. How many 25s out of 57? Well, 25, 50, 2. So we need to put the 2 above the 57. Do not put it above the 5. 2 times 25 is 50. Subtract, I get 7. Bring down my 7. So we have a 77 here. So how many 25s in 77? Well, 25, 50, 75 three groups of 25. Three times 25 is 75. Subtract, I get two, bring down my five, and we have nice and compatible numbers here. 25 divided by 25 is one. One times 25 is 25. Subtract, and another problem with no remainder, quotient 231. Now number one and number two, we had a 10 and a 25. Those are pretty easy double digit divisors to work with because you can do a lot of mental math with those. In number three and four, the numbers aren't so nice to work with, so they're gonna take a little extra work. So let's check out number three here. We have 2,925 divided by 42. And no one really knows their 42 facts off the top of their head, so you can't do a group of 42 out of 2, can't do 1 out of 29, so you have to look at 292. How many groups of 42, whole groups of 42, are in 292? Well, you probably don't know that off the top of your head, so you need to estimate and check. This might take a few problems to figure out. I always start with thinking, okay, I know 42 times 10 is 420. That's way too high, right? I need 292, as close to 292 as I can get, but still under. So I'm going to try 42 times 7. Let's see what we get. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 4 is 28 plus 1. 294. Very close, but a little too high. So I need to scale it back to 42 times 6. 
6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1. 252. That's as close as I can get there. So I need to put a 6 above the 292. Not above the 2, not above the 29, but the 292. And 6 times 42 is 252. Subtract, I get 40. Bring down my 5. 405. Well, look at this problem I did over here. 420. A little too high, but this 10 tells me I need to scale it back one, use the work I already did to help me out with stuff I need to know. So 42 times nine, let's see how close we get. Nine times two is 18. Nine times four is 36 plus one, 37. 378, that's as close as I'm gonna get. So I put my nine up here, nine times 42 is 378. And I need to subtract. I'm going to need some borrowing in this one. A 10, well, I need to take again, so it's actually a 9. 15 minus 8 is 7. 9 minus 7 is 2. So I get 69, remainder 27. All right, notice number 3, I have four multiplication, extra multiplication problems I did to the side. That's fine. You need to start somewhere and just work your way to get to the close, closest to the numbers as possible. It's going to take some work for some of these. So number four, we have 928 divided by 56. So I have a 92 divided by 56. How many whole 56s can I pull out of 92? Well, it's going to be one, but let's just make sure. 56 times 2, well, I know it's going to be over 100, so it's not going to work, but I'm just going to show an example of how you should start thinking through these problems. 6 times 2 is 12. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1. We get 112. So a little too high. So it's only going to be 1. 1 times 56 is 56. Subtract, get 8. 12 minus 6 is 6. 8 minus 5 is 3. Bring down my 8. So now I have 368. I am not sure how many 56s I can pull or make out of 368. So I know 56 times 10 is 560, but that's way too high. So I'm going to scale it back. Let's try 6. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 5 is 30 plus 3. 336. That's pretty close. And I always double check. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna try 57 times 7 to see if I can get any closer. 7 times 5, 35 plus 4, 39, 399. So 7 was too high. 6 is my number there. I shouldn't have that 8 up there. That can be confusing there. So 6 times 56 is 336. Subtract 2, 3. So 16, remainder 32. 16, remainder 32. Okay, that one took some work as well. So when you get to double digit divisors, not all of it is mental math. So you need to show some of your work off to the side and use estimate, estimation and checking. Okay, so that's double digit divisors, long division. Um, if you're ready to try some on your own, head over to the mastery check to see if you have it down. If you need a little more practice, work through me, work with me through the mastery check problems to see where you're getting stuck or just to clear up any misunderstandings. So I will see you over at the mastery check. Thanks for watching.